If Soundtrap is one of the software that has been added to the Music First Classroom, teachers and students can access it by selecting Software and Soundtrap. You can scroll through your existing projects and continue working, or you can select Enter Studio to start something new. You can start a new music project or podcast project, or use one of the demos provided by Soundtrap. Students and teachers have the ability to add as many tracks as they would like using MIDI instruments or recording themselves directly into the track. Simply hit recording, you get the short countdown, and the recording begins, nothing more complicated than that. You can use the Patterns Beatmaker to create a drum loop. Or you can drag an existing loop onto a new track. Or you can even just double click and it will add in automatically. You can preview any of the loops by clicking the play button or favorite them by clicking the heart. In order to create a specific assignment for your students, we'll want to create a task. Let's take a look at doing that now. We switch back to the Music First Classroom tab, then select Create over here on the left and Task. We can toggle between our different classes. We can add something to a unit if we choose, but we must give it a title. Creating a task for students using Soundtrap gives the students their own unique copy of the template. If you want to use Collaborate and have multiple students working on the same file, that's going to be a slightly different process. Check out the associated tutorial video for instructions on how to use Collaborate or create virtual ensembles with your students using Soundtrap. Leave Music First Software selected and choose Soundtrap from the tool. Any directions for your students go here in the description field. They'll see this text and information before they open up Soundtrap. You can select a due date and a time if you choose. You can make the assignment visible to students automatically or uncheck and make it hidden. And you can assign the task to everyone in your class or uncheck this to select a pre-made student group or an individual or smaller collection of student users. You can add standards if you wish, though that is not a requirement and you can add anything you want to the gradebook. Soundtrap isn't going to score students automatically, but you can still add this assignment to the gradebook by setting the number of maximum points or building out a whole rubric, giving students some grading guidance before they open up Soundtrap and complete their assignments. You can add any task to an assessment group, which is a way of breaking up your gradebook into sections, and you can change how students see their grades. The default scheme is a letter grade. Percentage grade shows students a percentage out of 100, regardless of how many points the assignment has been given. And points earned simply shows them a numeral. Once we select Create Task, we've configured the assignment in Music First, and now we need to click Open in Soundtrap in order to launch Soundtrap in a new tab and connect students to the template we want them to see. We have the same options to connect to a demo or start a new music or podcast project. In order to complete the task, you need to save the file. And in order to do that, you need to make a change of some kind. That can be as simple as updating the title of the song, You can record yourself giving instructions using the same recording process we looked at previously, adding a pre-made loop like we looked at using the beat maker. You can select File and Open or Open Recent to attach students to a previously made template so you don't need to recreate something from scratch. And once you've made that change, whatever it may be, you can then select Save. And the final step is to click File 
and attach to task. Once you have confirmed, the assignment is complete. We can close the Soundtrap tab and return to Music First. Once students begin submitting, you'll see all their submissions from here within the task itself. You can grade students from here, which automatically updates the gradebook. You can open up their task status and launch Soundtrap to see the work they've done. You can add comments for students. And if students need to continue submitting after they've received your comments, they simply click Open in Soundtrap again to launch the task. Any saved changes that they make will be accessible to you again by clicking their submission. If you have any questions or comments, please email support at musicfirst.com.